The world of light is seen as the highest, purest place in the spiritual hierarchy. It stands at the pinnacle of spirituality, representing divine purity, light, and truth. This realm is believed to be immaculate, free from any imperfection or corruption. In both Gnosticism and Mandaean cosmology, the world of light embodies the ultimate state of spiritual elevation and truth. This divine realm is often described as being completely filled with light, devoid of any darkness or evil. It is an unending source of goodness and serves as the dwelling place for divine beings. The world of light is a landscape of pure enlightenment and clarity, in stark contrast with the material world that we live in. The material world is often referred to as the world of darkness in these spiritual beliefs. It is perceived as a place filled with ignorance, suffering, and imperfection. This world is considered to be ruled by lesser corrupt deities and is a far cry from the divine purity of the world of light. The contrast between these two realms highlights the vast spiritual gap that souls need to bridge. In Gnostic and Mandaean beliefs, the origin of souls is a central theme. Souls are said to come from the world of light, a divine realm that serves as their true home. This place is seen as the purest, most perfect state of existence. But souls find themselves in the material world, which is viewed as a fall or exile from this divine state. The material world, in contrast to the world of light, is seen as a place filled with challenges and impurities. Here, souls are thought to forget their divine origins, becoming trapped in a cycle of ignorance and suffering. This separation from their pure state makes life in the material world feel like a kind of exile or punishment. According to Gnostic and Mandaean teachings, the journey of a soul involves remembering and reclaiming its connection to the world of light. The spiritual practices are designed to help souls regain this lost knowledge. By doing so, they can begin the process of returning to their true home, overcoming the limitations and corruptions of the material world. In Gnostic belief, the world of light is deeply connected to the concept of the pleroma. We've all gone through the pleroma, and I understand that this is just a repeat of all the stuff, but bear with me on this one. I'm trying a new style. The pleroma is more like a radiant, perfect realm where divine beings exist in harmony. There's no darkness, no evil, no corruption, only pure divine light and absolute truth. The connection between the world of light and the pleroma helps to clarify why the material world is often viewed negatively in Gnostic thought. This connection also underscores a key goal in Gnosticism, the individual's journey of spiritual ascent. Gnostics believe that by gaining knowledge about one's divine origins, one can transcend the limitations of the material world and return to the state of fullness in the pleroma. This isn't just about moving from one place to another. It's about a profound internal transformation where one understands their true nature and origins. So the world of light is tied to the pleroma as both a place and a state of being. It is the aspiration of the soul trapped in the material world to return to this fullness and to regain the divine light and truth is lost. The concept of the pleroma not only enriches the understanding of the world of light, it also provides a comprehensive view of the Gnostic spiritual journey. In many creation myths, the world of light holds a special place. It's considered the birthplace of divine beings. This realm isn't just part of the story. It's the origin of everything that has spiritual value and goodness. When we look at these myths, the world of light often comes first, and this realm gives birth to divine entities who then play a role in creating and shaping the universe. These beings aren't just any characters. They're integral to the balance of everything that exists. The idea is that all spiritual entities emerge from this pure, bright realm. Unlike the material world, which is filled with challenges and imperfections, the world of light is flawless and good. It's where everything true and pure comes from. These divine beings carry the essence of the world of light. Their actions and presence in various myths remind us of the connection between the spiritual realm and the material one. It's believed that their influence brings the goodness and truth of the world of light into our world. The soul's journey is often depicted as a return to the world of light. This concept of returning is central to both Gnostic and Mandaean beliefs. It's not just a journey, it's a mission to regain our true divine state. Souls that find themselves here are in a state of forgetfulness, unaware of their true origins. They must awaken to their divine nature to start their journey back. This journey isn't easy. It's fraught with obstacles and distractions that make it hard to stay on the right path. Knowledge plays a crucial role in this process. Gnosticism emphasizes Gnosis, and this knowledge isn't just intellectual but experiential. It's about remembering our true essence and understanding the divine truths that have been hidden from us. Similarly, Mandaeans believe in regaining inner purity and wisdom as essential steps to returning to the world of light. Acts of devotion, prayer, and ritual can aid in this journey. These practices help align the soul with divine energies, making the path clearer and more navigable. They serve as reminders of the spiritual goals and help to keep the soul focused on its ultimate return. 
The goal is to transcend the limitations of the material world, and this means overcoming not just physical, but also emotional and mental obstacles. It's about shedding layers of ignorance and impurity that have clouded our understanding. And when a soul successfully completes this journey, it reconnects with the world of light and its divine origins. This return to the world of light is in an end. It's a reunification with the highest state of existence. It signifies a return to purity, truth, and eternal wisdom. In overcoming the influences of the material world, the soul reclaims its rightful place in the divine hierarchy. This is the ultimate culmination of the soul's journey home. The world of light also stands for purity and goodness, and this realm is untouched by darkness, corruption, or evil. It embodies the ultimate state of spiritual perfection that souls aspire to return to. In Gnostic and Mendean beliefs, the world of light is seen as the purest form of existence, and it serves as a beacon of hope and an ideal state that contrasts sharply with the imperfections of the material world. And when people speak of returning to the world of light, they refer to a journey back to a state of spiritual purity and truth. In Gnostic traditions, this realm is viewed as unmarred by the flaws and failings found in the material world. It's a place where only goodness and truth exist, representing what the soul longs for as its true home. Similar thoughts are found in Mandaean cosmology, where the world of light is revered as the ultimate destination for the soul. This realm is not just free from evil, it is also the source of all that is good, right, and true. Practitioners believe that the state of being in the world of light is one of perfect peace and understanding. The light here is not just a physical phenomenon, but symbolizes the unblemished nature of the divine. As souls journey through life's trials and tribulations, the hope of returning to the world of light provides solace and purpose. This hope inspires actions and rituals aimed at cleansing one's soul and aligning with the purity of the divine realm. The idea of the world of light as a symbol of purity also extends to how it influences religious practices and ethics. Followers are encouraged to seek purity in their thoughts, words, and deeds. And this ongoing quest for spiritual cleanliness finds its ultimate fulfillment in the reunion with the world of light. So the concept of this pure realm not only shapes spiritual understandings, but also daily living, making it a cornerstone of both Gnostic and Mandan life. Imperfection is another key trait of the material world. The material world is seen as flawed. Everything in this realm is temporary and imperfect, which is in direct contrast to the eternal and perfect nature of the world of light. This contrast serves to highlight the spiritual goals within Gnosticism and Mandaean cosmology. The aim is to transcend the limitations and flaws of the material world and reconnect with the divine purity of the world of light. This journey involves overcoming ignorance and gaining knowledge of one's divine origins. The material world, with its ignorance, suffering, and imperfections, stands in opposition to the world of light, and understanding this contrast is key to grasping the spiritual teachings of Gnosticism and Mandaeanism. The material world is a place to be transcended, while the world of light is the ultimate goal for those seeking spiritual enlightenment and redemption. In Mandaean rituals, the world of light takes center stage as a source of spiritual power and guidance. These rituals often aim to help the soul reconnect with this divine realm when Mandaeans perform rituals. They believe they're tapping into the pure divine energy that originates from the world of light. Prayers and offerings are central to these practices. Mandaeans might offer fresh water or other natural elements as a way to honor the purity of the world of light. These offerings symbolize the exchange between the material world and the divine realm. One common ritual is the Masbuda, a form of baptism performed in flowing water. It serves as a physical and spiritual cleansing. During this ritual, participants immerse themselves in water to symbolize the purification of the soul and its connection to the world of light. Reading sacred texts is another key aspect. These texts, filled with prayers and invocations, often call upon the beings of the world of light for wisdom and protection. By reciting these words, Mandaeans strengthen their ties to the divine. The purpose of these rituals is not just about individual salvation, but also about maintaining a communal connection to the world of light. By coming together in these practices, Mandaeans create a sense of unity and shared spiritual purpose. Overall, Mandaean rituals offer a way to bridge the gap between the material world and the divine, keeping the connection strong through regular spiritual practices. Through these rituals, the world of light remains a guiding force in their everyday life. There are also beings that are referred to as light beings. They are essential to the spiritual hierarchy within the divine realm of the world of light, and they play important roles, often acting as messengers or guides for souls. Their purpose is to help souls navigate their journey back to the world of light. These light beings are considered pure and wise. 
They possess knowledge and understanding that surpasses the material world's limitations. Their guidance is crucial for souls striving to return to their divine origins. They serve as the bridge between the corrupted material world and the pure perfect world of light. In this spiritual hierarchy, each light being has specific roles and responsibilities. Some deliver important spiritual truths and insights to those who seek knowledge. Others act as protectors, safeguarding souls on their journey back to the divine realm. There are also those who assist in rituals and prayers, ensuring that these practices are aligned with the divine plan. The hierarchy of divine beings functions as a well-organized spiritual system. Each being contributes to the overall goal of guiding and supporting souls in their quest for salvation and return to purity. Understanding the roles of these light beings helps us appreciate the complexity and depth of Gnostic and Mandaean cosmology. It's clear that the world of light is not just a place, it's a structured realm where divine beings work in harmony. Their collective efforts ensure that souls have the guidance and support they need to overcome the material world's challenges and eventually return to their true divine home. In both Gnosticism and Mandaean cosmology, the world of light stands as a symbol of eternal knowledge and wisdom. It is believed to be a place where all truths are revealed. In this divine realm, the secrets of existence and the purpose of life are fully understood. The material world with its limitations cannot compare to the clarity and insight gained in the world of light. This realm embodies pure knowledge that is free from any kind of error or deception. Divine beings within this realm are said to hold this ultimate understanding. They grasp the divine plan in its entirety without the confusion that often plagues human understanding on earth. It's a place where wisdom isn't just an ideal, but a reality, and where understanding the nature of the universe becomes second nature. For followers of these beliefs, achieving access to eternal knowledge is seen as a return to their divine origins. It offers a complete insight into their spiritual journey and the ultimate goals of their existence. The world of light serves as a beacon of truth, setting a clear contrast against the often misleading and murky knowledge found in the material world. In essence, to come into contact with the wisdom of the world of light is to see beyond earthly distractions and limitations. It is the highest form of enlightenment and understanding, offering a complete vision of divine truths and the purpose behind all spiritual and material creation. This realm reassures believers that there is a profound order and wisdom in the universe beyond what can be perceived in the mundane world. Understanding the world of light's connection to eternal knowledge helps to grasp why returning to it is seen as the ultimate spiritual goal. It's not just about a physical return, but also about reaching a state of mind where one is in harmony with the divine truths that govern all existence. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks for listening. If you like it, hit that subscribe button for us. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Other than that, have a great day.